What's up, people? Today, what I'm going to do here is we're going to go over this GY6150 wiring harness. I got a GY6150 wiring harness. <clears throat> I'm actually going to be putting it on this Honda Ruckus. GY6 Ruckus swap. But, I just wanted to go over this. Nobody really has done any videos on the gist of what's... You know, what these wire colors are and what they are. And, um... There's a whole bunch of different wiring harnesses, but they're basically about the same. You know what I mean? It just is a matter of what kind of controls is up on front of the scooter, but basically the wiring colors are pretty much, you know, the same in all the harnesses. But, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we got the front of the harness here. We got the midway. This is where your ignition plugs in. And then we got the back of the harness. We got the midway point where your um, battery wires are. And then it goes on back, excuse me, it goes on back to the uh, CDI and the coil and whatnot. And then the tail light stuff. So what we can do is... Uh, We'll talk about the ignition wire for the ignition switch first. This is your ignition wire. Um, right here, your ignition plug. It normally consists of four wires. You got a green ground wire. You got a black and white wire. That is the kill switch wire. You got a black, you got a black wire and a solid red wire. When you turn your key on. It, the red wire powers the black wire. So the red wire connects to the bat. It's connected to the battery. When you turn the key on, the red wire powers the black wire. It makes the black wire in this harness live. It makes it a keyed 12 volt DC positive wire. When you turn the key switch off, it grounds the black and white wire that comes from the CDI to the ground wire, which is green, and it kills the engine. That's how your ignition works. So if you want to ever bypass the key, if you ever want to bypass the key, you can put a jumper in here or cut the black and red wire, twist them together. But if you do that, your bike will stay hot, you know, Everything that's plugged, you know, that's DC on it will stay on. So, but there you go. That's your ignition plug. Now, for what we'll do is we'll start at the back of the harness, since you know that. <clears throat> the back of the harness right here. You got a uh, six-prong plug. You know, you might have a four-prong one on a different harness, you know, or a two-prong or whatever, but the wire colors are basically the same. You got an orange wire. That's going to be your left turn signal. You got a green wire. That's going to be your ground. You got a light blue wire, which is the right turn signal. You got a yellow wire with a green stripe. That is your brake light. That is the brake light. Then you got a brown wire. That brown wire is your running light. The brown is the running light. Then you have a three-prong plug here for your fuel sending unit. The fuel sending unit wires are blue and white, yellow and white, and green is the ground. And those travel up the harness to the front of the bike. Now, here, here is your, um, you got a plug here, it's four and two, that's your CDI plug, that consists of black and white, that's the kill wire, the black and red, which is um, the power for the CDI, I believe. Um, 
you got the uh, red and white, which is the coil, or I mean, that's the pickup, the pickup wire. And then you got the black, or you got a yellow and black wire, which sends signal to the coil, and you got a ground wire. That's your CDI. You also have an AC positive wire and a ground here. This is going to plug into your carburetor for your enricher. You have a yellow wire. This other two prong plug is for the starter relay and the starter relay. Um, it's got a yellow wire with a green stripe and you got a um, yellow wire with a red stripe. That is for your starter relay. When you pull your brake lever, that brake lever is a, it's this, this brake wire becomes live and it grounds out with your switch up front and it'll start the bike. <clears throat> the other wire on here, other wires here is your coil wires. You got a ground, you got a yellow with a black stripe. That's your coil wire. Then you have your, C, your uh, stator wires. Your stator wires is black and red. That's the power for the CDI, I'm pretty sure. That's normally always black and red on the stator. But your pickup wire on the stator might be blue and white. You connect the blue and white to the red and white on the harness. And then your other three wires plug in. If it's a three wire, you know, like a basic eight pole stator. And that's the mid, that covers the mid of the harness. You go on up, you got your ground wire, you got your uh, positive wire. <clears throat> this ground wire right here <clears throat> goes to your battery. This ground wire goes to your battery. Um, the hot wire, of course, goes to the positive side of the battery. You roll on up to this is the midway point on the harness. Well, actually, two-thirds up. This is where your ignition switch is. And like I already told you what the ignition wires are. Black and red, green, black and white. Those are your ignition wires. This right here. Uh, you got a... You got a, a six-prong here. This is for your voltage regulator. This is for your voltage regulator. And you got another plug here. This is your um, headlight. This plugs. This is from. This is your headlight plug. Alright. Your headlight plug is going. If it. If it. If it has more. If it. Ha it's going to definitely have white. Blue and green. Green is negative. White is low beam, blue is high beam. The, right here on this one, this also has a brown wire with a white stripe. That is for a running light. So if you have a running light on the front of your bike, that'll be your running light wire. Um, we'll go on up to the front portion of the bike here. And you got control, you got wires. You got, you, this, this harness here is for the scooter that has multiple switches on the right and multiple switches on the left. So, this is the right side. The right side consists of your starter button, your starter button wire, is yellow with a red stripe and the green ground. Now, these other wires here, these other two, is what's going to um, power your headlights. Um, when you turn your key on, when you turn your key on, <clears throat> 
you're going to have a light switch. The, these wires go to your light switch. With your key on, you turn the light switch on. The light switch on, it, it sends power through the black wire. It, it's the, through the switch, and it powers the black with the white stripe running light wire, and it powers this dark green. This dark green is your headlight power wire that goes to your left control. It'll go to your, uh, <clears throat> it goes to the left control, and it'll power the high and low beam of your headlight. And then you got a, uh, the brown wire and black wire. These, pl this, those are plug, those plugs are, um, the black will make the hot, the brown wire, um, your, your rear light hot. Now your, your left controls, what you're going to have, you're going to have a gray wire. The gray watt, you got two sets of these. One is to run the four way flasher switch and the other is to run the turn signal switch. Again, the left can turn signal is orange wire. The right turn signal is the blue wire. And the light gray wire is the power for the turn signal. It's the power for the turn signal. It comes from the flasher relay and it powers the turn signal bulb. <clears throat> or it gives it, or it's the, I don't know, it's the flash portion of it. Purple and black, that's your horn wire, that's your horn switch, and then your headlight switch for high and low beam is dark green, white, and blue. The power is coming through the dark green. When you got it on low beam, it's white, high beam is blue. Now, the wires that go to your instrument cluster, of course, you got a running light up there on your instrument cluster. You got a left turn, you got a right turn signal indicator here. The, the orange and green is the left turn signal indicator. You got a uh, black wire with a, uh, a yellow wire with a black stripe that goes to your tachometer. You got a green wire, you got a double plug with a gr the yellow and green stripe, that's your uh, brake levers plug into that. Your gas gauge plugs into the wire, it's got a black power wire, blue and white stripe, yellow and white stripe. That's your gas gauge. And then, of course, you got your um, turn signal relay here. It's black. It's power. Um, the light gray is the pulse and the ground wire here. And you plug your turn signal relay into that three-prong plug. You got a hot wire here. It's a double plug. That's the other switch. That's the other wires off your levers. That controls your brake lights. When you squeeze your brake lever, power comes from this black wire through the lever switch, and it sends power through the yellow with the green stripe. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Um... Uh, that's the butt end of it. I mean, that's a GY6150 wiring harness. Um, if you can't, you know, catch that on this video, you know, if you need to message me, you know, feel free to look up my, uh, feel free to look up, look me up on Facebook or Facebook Messenger. You know, send me a picture, you know, of your wires if you need to know what they're for or if you need help talking through you know, doing something, you know, figuring out something in the wiring harness. 
I've done so many of these harness swaps, you know, and converted the GY6 harnesses for the Honda Ruckus and stuff like that. So I pretty much know them inside and out. Um, but again, like I say, if you have any trouble with anything, you know, shoot me a message. I don't have a problem talking with somebody about scooter stuff. You know, I enjoy it. So, but right on. I'll let you guys.